Commander? Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. Bet there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah? Here, feel this. Whoa! That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Want to really feel it? Show me. <laughs> you see? It doesn't take much to pull a few Gs. Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G-suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. I'm fortunate to have you, Steve. Anytime, Shepard.
match will be starting soon. Good luck to the competitors. Hey, glad you can make it. I've got us set up. I was talking about you.
That match was rigged. What are you talking about? There's no way for the one team just won. Wow. Wow. Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R&R. &R. You? Exactly. Same thing. Hey, Jacob. I'm out of credits. Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Let's do it. Great. This is your game of skill. Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Really? Trash talk? And shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? I don't think so. Well, step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. You're on. No pressure, Shepard. These people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. You're crowding me. Am I? My bad. Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. Ready? Let's do this. Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. That all you got? Come on, come on, come on! Yes! That all you got? Get out, Shepard. Feel that? Feeling of doom? Never mind. I got this. Boom! Killed it! Serious. Yeah! Jacob wins! Not my day. Congrats, Jacob. Ah, you probably let me win. Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. for a Lieutenant Williams. Thanks. There you are. Ready to see who's the real Spectre and who's the pretender? Whatever you say, Williams. Line them up. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Rules are simple. I take a shot, you take a shot. Hesitate, game over. <laughs> this shouldn't take too long. Uh, glamorous and beautiful superstar Spectre agent first. Sorry as pretender next. I'll try and go easy on you so you don't break a nail, princess. You did not just say that. I sure did. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this.
I've seen how you deal with a few drinks, Williams. Very messy. Ancient history. You know, I expected better from you. What's this? The great and powerful Commander Shepard can't keep up? I didn't want to destroy your fragile ego, Williams. Sometimes you just gotta let the underdog have its day. <laughs> Cut the crap, Commander. I fear for your liver, Williams. <laughs> You're just jealous. doesn't like alliance types. Buddy, we're right in the middle of something. I don't like alliance types either. Rain check? Yeah. Same as the others. That's exactly the point. Welcome to You sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Cheers! Lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust. And cats. And public speaking. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach, too. And an inhaler for asthma.
You have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucrocapsinol? That's a sugar pill trainer. A placebo. Oh, that sneaky bastard. And now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah. This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has it. Found one. Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and, you know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. Sorry we're late. Somebody forgot to pick up the cerveza. Come on in. That somebody was you. Didn't say it was. So when's the game? It's about to start. Seattle Sorcerers versus Usaru Maestros. Gonna be some intense by Audible. Nah, it's just a goodwill game for troop morale. They'll take it easy. In the middle of a war with their troops watching, they'll give it their all. Absolutely. Have you guys seen Derek Rogers' game lately? Man, he and the Sorcerers have been tearing it up. Esteban, the Maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassanis play? The woman is blue lightning. Mr. Vega, your love of the Asari team has more to do with how they look than how they play. Hey, that's not true. Not entirely. Besides, you telling me you don't got the hots for some of the Sorcerers? Okay, okay. Guilty as charged. Who are you backing, Shepard? I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, the Seattle Sorcerers are one of the few human b-ball teams left. They were on tour when Earth was hit. Since acquiring Donna Novotny from the Hackers, they've been completely unstoppable. Yeah, but most of the Maestros have been playing since before First Contact. They'll win this. I know the Sorcerers have never beaten the Maestros, but they've never been this hungry either. So Shep, who's it gonna be? You don't bet against the home team. Mr. Vega, I hope you're hungry for humble pie. When has our commander ever been wrong? Come on, man, the game started. Merda, he was out! You're blind, ref! Yes, they did it! Now pay up. Hey, why didn't you let me in on the betting? We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. And everyone knows you don't bet against Shepard. Anyway, it was a hell of a game. Yeah, great evening. Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego. So what? A private cabin on a stealth warship isn't enough for you? I'm watching the place for a friend. What are you doing? Calling Izo. Izo? <laughs> yeah, he's from Thessia. Naturally biotic from all the elements zero. Their biotics make them short-tempered, so a lot of them get abused or abandoned. Can you imagine someone doing that? I found him at a rescue place. I'm trying to teach him that it's okay to trust people. He started out really angry, but I've been giving him lots of love, and now he's a big old softy. What? Are 
You're aware of the parallels here, right? What the hell are you talking about, Shepard? Mistreated by Otic that... No? Never mind. Forget I said anything. Yeah. Who's my badass biotic? Mm, who's my badass biotic? We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Kreos. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through worn-torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from... from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was... lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now... I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? She is feeling grateful. And I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. 
If you need someone to hold the Counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. It's all right, Commander. Counselor Ashio could use some good press right now. This is the right time for such a favor. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander.
clean up well, Shepard. Thought we might try an evening out. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. It's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. You picked a good spot to unwind. Any ideas? A few. I'll probably need a bit of a push. Push? I was thinking about our talk earlier, about having a normal life. Oh, damn, I'm not very good at this. Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? Look around you. It's a room full of great ideas. Here? It's nothing but alcohol, gambling, and wasting time. Right. Need more wine. Bring the lady more wine. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret this. We're just friends out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. Deployed to a hotspot on Bulgaria. My usual squad's on medical, so I'm stuck with any heads in. Commander. What are you thinking about, Edie? The holographic theory of existence posits we are just two-dimensional information painted on the cosmological horizon. However, the holographic consciousness I recognize as myself is only able to perceive matter and energy. Thus, I am able to theorize the true nature of existence but never experience it. Possibly even the Reapers are limited this way. Okay. Bad question. Hey there.
Hello, Commander. Not right now. At your service. Thanks for coming by. Okay, toughest mission. Horizon. No fear, I hadn't joined up with you yet. Fine, the Dead Reaper then. Really? The husks just ran up to us. Have you ever noticed that I carry a sniper rifle? You're the one who likes things at short range. And you prefer to keep everything at a distance. Exactly. Wait, what? Creepiest thing we fought. The Thorian. But wait, what did you mean? I didn't mean anything. I'm going with the Rachni. The Queen? But we didn't fight her uh, either time. No, the little ones. They look like spiders and they scuttle right toward you. I thought you liked it when things got up close and personal. I guess it depends on who it is. Hey. Did you find a thermal pipe on your last trip to the Citadel? Commander. Nothing to report. see with only two eyes. Evolution has taken a strange turn in this cycle. Doesn't hurt to go over the weapon roster one more time. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard.